y'all? I am your girl Candy, and you know what? I love my thirsty roots. My hairstylist is a young lady named Paula Britt and she owns Blends Midtown and Blends West End here in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, that's B-L-E-N-D-Z. Um, I like, if I can, I like to get my hair done like twice a week, but lately I've been doing so much I really haven't had time to go that often. <laughs> For my hair, it's a glossifier that she gave me that I cannot remember the name to. <laughs> it's, um, it just adds some shine to my hair, like um, on the sides, my hair is dark. And um, so I, just to add some gloss to it, I didn't put it on today, so it might be looking a little dry. But <laughs> that's the thing that I like the most. She doesn't like for me to put a lot of oil or any heavy products on my hair. And me personally, I don't really like a lot of spritz and stuff in my hair because this blonde is fragile and it breaks easy. So if I put too much of that, it just it just be on the float. So I don't really use a lot of spritz. And a lot of people be thinking like, when well, my hair is standing up and it's hard. If you touch it, it don't be hard. It just she said it's the cut, the way that she cut it is what makes it stand up. Don't ask. I have no idea how she to stand up like that. When it, you know, right now it's just a little roll flip, but sometimes I actually have it up and wild. And it's not hard. It's not a whole bunch of spritz in my hair. Right now, it's a lot going on on the radio, but I feel like the way that I will fit in, I got to keep it growing sexy. Um, of course, I love the, the urban music and I love the youthful vibe, but. This time around, I really had to just come with real songs where I really showed my vocal ability. And stuff that's just gonna make you feel good. The, the lyrics that you can really relate to. The, it's a lot of love songs on this album. And everybody wants to feel good and in love. And, and of course, there are those songs that's on the album that you're gonna be pissed off and mad about your love. But all that's gonna be wrapped up in one. So I feel like the way that I am blending in on the radio is that I'm bringing that real R&B, the stuff that touches home, the subjects that really hit home. I do not plan on having any alter egos, so I don't have the Sasha Fears or the whoever that comes out. Um, I'm just candy, I'm just me. Um, I definitely would have to say that what you would hear me do on an R&B record would be totally different than what you would hear me do on a mixtape record with like a rap artist or whatever. Um, my mouth can be a little risque. But of course when you on R&B music, it's like I kind of like, I still say what I want to say, but I keep it clean a little bit. As far as the whole reality TV thing, um, I feel like it kind of, I kind of fell into this. It wasn't expected, but I am happy that I am a part of the Housewives show. It's, it's a successful show, so it's good to be part of a successful show. But I don't think, at this time, I don't really have any plans of doing a spinoff reality show. Now, I would like to have another TV show, whether it be me acting on another show or me having, like, I don't know, I do my Ustream show where it's like the talk sex show. So, like if we could turn that into a real TV show where it's like a talk show, maybe I would do that. But to just have another show where it's like just follow me around with cameras and based on my everyday life. Mm, I don't know about that. I might as well stay on the Housewives for that. I mean, I don't know. Don't. I never like to cross out any type of opportunity. So. If they said to me that they wanted to have some kind of spinoff with me doing something, I mean, I, I guess it'll be cool, but I'm just not really thinking about that right now. Baby, 
Lord, won't you get with my pimpin'? Right now I have a video blog for HelloBeautiful.com and it's called Candy, the Bitter and the Sweet. That was another thing that kind of just fell in my lap. Um, last year when AJ passed, I had wrote, wrote out how I felt and all my feelings and I just kind of poured my thoughts into just a written statement. I wasn't even writing it to anybody personally, I was just writing how I felt. But I had met um, Smokey Fontaine, which is the person who runs that whole Black Planet and, and Hello Beautiful company. And I gave him what I had wrote because I told him I might want to write a book one day. And so he was like, well, let me see, you know, something that you wrote. So I gave him what I wrote. He posted it on Hello Beautiful and a lot of people um, linked to it and made comments on it and different things. So he basically approached me and asked me would I like to do a regular blog for Hello Beautiful. And I was like, okay, cool, but what am I going to talk about? Everybody like, what am I going to say? So he was like, well, you don't always have to write them. You can, sometimes you can do video blogs. So I'm around, I'm with my, you know, different people all the time. And we talk about the craziest things. So I was like, you know what would be interesting if I just videotape part of our conversation and let people be able to join in on that conversation. And it's just our opinions and whatever we going through that day. And we just talk about anything. It doesn't have to be anything serious or personal. But sometimes it is serious or personal. But I just do it and it seems pretty cool. I have a clothing boutique here in Atlanta called Tags Boutique. Um, the website is tagsatl.com, T-A-G-S-A-T-L.com. And we sell women and men's clothing. Um, basically, I'm a businesswoman first, and I always feel like you should have multiple sources of income. So I really wanted to have a business that was outside of music and entertainment. I just wanted a, bu a business that would be making money that you know, I didn't have to worry about if I'm hot or not, if I'm a hot writer right now, if I'm a hot artist, about it being based off of that. Regular people could find hot, you know, trendy, fashionable items, but don't have to break the bank doing it. Because right now is a time when people need to be saving their money, not wasting all their money. Right now, um, Finishing up my album. It's pretty much finished. We mixing and everything now, but it's called Candy Coated. The album is ridiculous. It's gonna be out on November 23rd, and um, basically the album is gonna have like it's real R&B. It's real R&B. It's, it's it's that stuff that maybe like if you were an Escape fan back in the day, it would give you that vibe because you know how our, our songs were like songs you can make love to or just songs you can just have fun to and relate. You know. So that's what this album reminds me of. And I got everybody on there from Neo to um, Brian Michael Cox, Jazzy Faye did the single Leave You that is going to radio now. And um, I'm very happy and excited with this album. It's definitely an album that you'll have a whole bunch of songs that you feel like they could have been singles. I said to myself, with this album, if I'm gonna do an album after all these years, it's definitely gonna be worth your money. You're not gonna buy my album and feel like you only got one or two songs to listen to. Uh -uh. You're definitely gonna feel like this, I got my money's worth. So, I hope you like it. And we'll see. I mean, you'll see. You'll see me performing it on the TV show Real Housewives, which is coming back on October 4th. I'm gonna be on tour with Fantasia. That's my girl, I love her to death. That's gonna be November the 4th. And then the album comes out November 23rd. And let me say this to the people. I know there are other artists who's coming out on November 23rd. And listen to me, y'all. I love all those artists. So I say, buy everybody out. It's not a competition. It's all about putting out good music and you have a good music to ride to.